So I made my way to uh, Sacramento to visit one of our newer customers. He's a pretty cool guy and I can't wait for you to meet him. Hey, what's up man, how are ya? Welcome to Titans of CNC. <laughs> What's up, brother? Hey guys, How are you, man? Good to see you. Good to oh, see you. Yeah. you. got in all right? Yeah, I got in all right. I'm so awesome, heard Jason was here before me. That's guys helping us out here. We're already cutting chips, man. The Titan 1M making it happen. That's perfect. Oh. perfect. How have things been going then? Good, good man. Good. Okay. Machine out of the box, got it set up, got power, got it level. Got some chips off of it already. Perfect. Banging it, man. That's Banging awesome. it. I'm awesome. excited. Good. Well, I'm glad to, glad to get you rolling here. So what? Uh, what, what, what inspired this? Why did you want a machine from us? I mean, honestly, I, I've had my eye on you guys for a long time, right? And we have on our social platforms, we have a lot of Tormac users in the schools, a lot of Tormac users and stuff. And uh, you guys keep coming with bringing the heat, you know what I mean? So, you know, one thing I'll say is like, I'm not here trying to, you know, grab a machine and, and compete with Haas or compete with DMG or anything like that. but. I have been like really frustrated when I look at education and, and certain schools and just their, you know, not wanting to actually get outside that box and see how technology is run today, right? So I think at no time in history did we have an, an academy like we have now, Titans of CNC, that's a plug right there, Titans of CNC Academy, but it's free, it's free, right? So there's guys like me, like my dream was always to have a machine in my garage man, and then just make some parts, you know what I mean? And I see a lot of people, I see a lot of young people even, you know, that are springing for like expensive machines and, and they're trying to like start businesses and some of them will fail because this is a hard trade, you know what I mean? So I think that you guys have actually found like a really awesome niche coming in with a, an, an affordable machine that you can actually put right inside your garage and somebody, you know, who's like, does it, they could be 50 years old, 80 years old, or 20 years old, and, and work in, and, and basically at night, they can just learn the trade with the academy, right? And it fits in your garage. And it fits in your garage. And it yep. starts out at like six, 7,000 bucks. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I mean, when, whenever could you actually buy a machine for six or 7,000? I started my company and, you know, blew through 125,000 in a couple of days. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> right. You know, my cheapest machine was forty something thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So at no time could I even have had an opportunity to step up until the opportunity presented itself. But I think people right now that it's cheaper than a car. You can actually buy buy a machine, put it into your garage and uh, just make it happen. Well our thing is enabling people's ideas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you reached out to us for a machine and everything, we were really excited. I was I was excited, I've gone through the curriculum, I've worked through a lot of it and it just you know, for somebody who came out of the machine trade, it truly inspired me again just to kind of go back and relearn a lot of the things that I've already done. But just the way you teach and the way you present it, I feel there's a huge value in that. So I'm really excited to be able to work with you guys and, you know, get this machine in your hands so you can just grow that community of people who can learn that trade and learn that ability and skills on their time and on, you know, an affordable rate. So that we can build that workforce with the proper skills to go out and be successful. Thank you. Thank you, man. That's awesome. I think a lot of people talk about the skills gap, and they, you know me, I'm always preaching like, you know, there, there are a million people working at McDonald's, working at Home Depot. There's a million people that they, they just don't know about our trades, right? But, so I always say it's kind of like an awareness gap and a training gap. Like training, like it costs money to upgrade your training, and people just don't do it, right? And a lot of people behind education, they're no longer in industry. They don't really understand the latest technology. Right, so you know, there's some amazing schools out there, and there's some that are not so amazing, right? And one thing that I'd say is, you know, I always have like dads contact me and say, you know, I want my son to get into machining. You know, what what college do you recommend in my area? And I actually don't know, 
right? I don't know all the schools. We're partnered with 2,500 schools that are using our resources, and that's awesome. But I don't know every teacher and every program, and, and it's kind of hard, right? So what I always say is, like, go down there, interview them, talk to them, figure it out, you know what I mean? But at the same time, understand that maybe college isn't the best thing to do. Maybe going and spending, you know, 10 grand on a tarmac and putting it in your garage on a regular outlet and having the academy and then having your son actually work someplace else and learn the trade and make parts because at the end of the day it's not a piece of paper that gets you a job someplace and makes you money it's your ability to cut metal efficiently right and hit those tolerances and ship those parts and stuff so if you can have your own machine and actually make your own parts and learn from the academy i mean that's awesome yeah. right and you can learn how you learn you know exactly you most important thing to learn in life is what what takes for you to retain information. So yeah. it gives you that ability to scale and adjust and what's faster than you need to or want to. And if you spend that ten thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars or fifteen, whatever it ends up being, I mean that is like money in the bank right there because you you walk away not only with an education understanding the trade because there's free curriculum, you walk away with a machine that you own, right? That is capable of generating revenue as well. Yep. So exactly. It, exactly. Formal price, get into the education, learn the trade, and have something that you can do your best on. And there's a lot of like people figuring out how to make tools and make this and make that, and you can make it on this machine, and then later on upgrade to a Haas or a DMG or whatever Absolutely. you're gonna do, depending on your workload, your customer base, and your talent, right? But you just gotta make it happen. Yep. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing what you're gonna do with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, one thing I want to do. You know, as I want to go right through, like, there's so many people now making the building blocks on Tormax. So I want to actually create videos and stuff, and I just want to show them, like, the speeds and feeds that it's the mind of the programmer that makes the machine run, right? So, you know, anybody who just tries to get after it, you know, on any machine, I mean, there is an art form to it. So I just want to, like, kind of speak to that and lift up our kids so, you know, they can do all the building blocks and do all the different things, you know what I mean? And then, and then, get after a little bit, and then I see what see what it can handle. You know? So, I'm excited. A lot of you guys probably know, like we probably could have brought in a, a bigger machine, a, you know, the 1100. You got some amazing machines. Mm -hmm. We've got an upgraded version coming out too, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. we do. Yep, the right. MX. Yep. But but that wasn't really my style. That's not really what I wanted to do right out of the gate. I wanted to basically bring an affordable machine, like the ones that a lot of people out there would be purchasing mm -hmm. because this is realistic to somebody who can't really afford that much you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's still you know it's still some thousands but at the same time it's doable right you know right. what i mean yep. and i wanted to have a machine on a platform that basically was straight up affordable you know what i mean right on. Yeah. because not not everybody can can handle that thousand dollar payment you right. know what i mean right. and even eight hundred dollar payment you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. And that's, I've had twelve thousand dollar payments, so you know, like, you don't want those, right? Well, and that's and that's our success story is when when our customers can get a machine and it can pay for itself, and that's, the next one. and and then buy another one, and yeah, I mean that's that is the progression of a successful business, and that's why we love being a part of not only um, education but then also like entrepreneurs and small businesses that are trying to grow. Like that's that's we love that market. That's that's how we started, and that's how we want to support people. Yeah, that's awesome and, and also like i appreciate you guys like stepping in and supporting education i mean we we barely even knew each other and you were already doing the building blocks and right. pushing people towards mm -hmm. the building blocks and i really appreciate that because you know again there is an awareness problem out there so we all we all can do our part and actually like talk to people about the academy talk to people about the machines and show people that hey you know, not only do we have machines in the academy, we've got academy small groups where shops are opening their doors to the community. And if we all work together for, and bring that awareness, we can do big things in this industry and nobody's talking about the skills gap. These kids don't even understand that you can like <laughs> cut metal and cut chips and like, oh, get after it and stuff. And that everything they it. hold and use every day is made out of machines similar to this. Exactly, exactly. Now you see all these robotics first kids oh, like, absolutely. Uh, with their ISO grid frames. Oh, you gotta love it. Oh, <laughs> from the Titan 10M. Right? 
but you got to give these kids all the great credit. You teach them how to run these machines and teach yeah. them how to actually do the building blocks, and then they can basically take it to the stars and they can make anything. Yeah. Take anything. them in that direction. That's awesome, man. You guys, you guys have definitely found a niche for yourself, and uh, great job, guys. Well, thank you. Cool. Yeah, we're we're excited. This is, uh, I think, the only way to go is up at this point, you know. And so we're we're excited to see what you do. Thanks for getting here nice and early, no, no and problem, man. taking yeah. this thing out of the box for me. <laughs> Let's come out and play. Oh. <laughs> the Titan One M, right there. Check it out. Oh, Boom. <laughs> right there. A couple more tools. You ready to run them? Let's run them. Oh. Make some chips. You ready to do it? Yeah. Right All on, right, man. brother. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it.